Happy and blessed Feast of the Immaculate Conception. Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and I want to share with you today something that Pope Benedict said about this feast last year. On December 8th, we celebrate one of the most beautiful feasts of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Solemnity of the Immaculate Conception. But what does Mary being immaculate mean? First of all, let us refer to the biblical texts of today's liturgy, especially the great frescoes of the third chapter of the book of Genesis and the account of the Annunciation in the Gospel according to Luke. After the original sin, God addresses the serpent, curses it, and adds a promise. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your seed and her seed. He shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his heel. Thus. Through the descendants of a woman, God himself will triumph. That woman is the Virgin Mary, of whom was born Jesus Christ, who, with his sacrifice, defeated the ancient tempter once and for all. Luke the Evangelist shows the Virgin Mary receiving the annunciation of the heavenly messenger. Unlike Adam and Eve, Mary stays obedient to the Lord's will. With her whole being, she speaks her yes and makes herself entirely available to the divine plan. Every time we experience our frailty and the promptings of evil, we may turn to her and our hearts receive light and comfort. Even in the trials of life, in the storms that cause faith and hope to vacillate, let us recall that we are her children and that our existence is deeply rooted in the infinite grace of God. Although the church is exposed to the negative influences of the world, she always finds in Mary the star to guide her so that she may follow the route pointed out to her by Christ.